Yo, what's going on, guys? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Broadway, here again with another video, man. And today, I came to talk to you guys, man, about how to prevent thin dreadlocks. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments in my comment section about this particular question right here, so I decided to make a video today about it. So, one of my previous videos that I've dropped, I'll put it up here somewhere. I pretty much fucked up my, my freeform locks, you know what I mean? And go watch that video if you haven't. Uh, a lot of people are watching that video right now as we speak. But anyways, you must stay out your hair, guys. Listen, especially, man, if you're just starting your dreadlocks and you're just now getting them twisted and you're in that starter lock stage, listen to me, guys. Please stay out your hair. Please give your hair time to breathe, to grow. You guys, like, I know sometimes when you're bored, you know, you might be like this. You might be like this, you know what I mean? You be, you, just by being bored, you're not even conscious or really aware that you're really messing with your hair, man. The more you twist on your hair, the more you damage it, especially, especially if your hair is dry, man. If your hair is dry, and you're sitting there twisting your hair when you're bored, all you're doing is damaging your hair. Try to stay out your hair as much as possible. You really don't want to keep your hands in your head. Even not, not even in the beginning stage, like just growing your locks, period. Like don't twist your hair as often. Now this video specifically is for people that don't want thin locks. If you want thin locks, I'm not talking to you. Number two, guys, I stressed this in another video that I made. You must eat right and stay hydrated, man. If you're dehydrated, man, or if you're not eating right, it can cause breakage in the hair. It can cause thinning in the locks, okay? So make sure you guys are staying hydrated and making sure that you're, and if you're not gonna eat healthy, you know, 24 seven or at least four times a week, whatever like that, Man, just try to drink a lot of water. You know what I mean? I encourage you to eat better. I want you to eat better. Hell, I want to eat better. So you know what I mean? I'm trying myself, so. Number three, stress. A lot of people say that stress causes thinning of the locks. Whether it's physical or emotional, it manifests in your locks. You must understand this. Your, your dreads, your locks are an extension of your nervous system. If you guys notice this or if you guys have experienced this, let me know down in the comments because I know personally I did. I had a spot in my head, especially when I got my hair cut, man. I got an area where it's limited hair because of me stressing and because of, of the breakage and things like that. So please, guys. Try to find that inner peace. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to stress. Stress causes thinning of the locks. You guys do not want. Now, I know I did it. I know I did it. I know I did it. As you guys know, man, if you're gonna dye your hair, man, you're pretty much damaging your hair. You're, you're pretty much saying, hey, I want you, I want my locks to break off. You want, you want your locks to thin because even if you dye it you know and you think you washed it all out you not you didn't wash it all out it's still soaked into your locks so you must understand that it stays in your locks and it starts to damage your hair from the inside out and it causes the thinning of the locks if you're going to dye your hair man you put your own self at risk you know what i mean so that's that's on you i'm just letting you guys know some some facts and some uh experiences that i've had and others have had if you guys are not freeforming, I'm not, now this right here is not for my freeformers. Because if you're freeforming, you're pretty much using all natural products. For all my people out there that's not freeforming, and they actually go get their hair done by a loctician or by, you know, somebody they know, or anything like that, watch the products that you put in your hair, man. If you're gonna twist your hair and you wanna keep them maintained, use natural products, man. Don't use these products that's going to damage your hair because it will thin your locks. Another thing is, this is my last uh, piece of advice that I wanna give you guys in this video. And it's simply, man, if you're gonna retwist your hair, man, do not retwist your hair as much. If you don't want thin locks, please do not retwist your hair. So many times to the point where your scalp is just hurting because you're just constantly twisting your hair, you know what I'm saying? Another thing, your sections. If you don't want thin locks, make sure whoever's doing your locks, your loctician, whoever, make sure you tell them you want big sections. 
because that's going to create from the root thicker locks that's going to grow that's going to give you more room to grow so your your sections must be parted and in ways to where it's enough room to the right size that you want it those are my ways of how to prevent thin locks, man. I hope this video helped you guys, man. If you're new to the channel, man, and you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up, man. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe, man, because we're growing. Man, listen, check this out, B-Nation. We're growing like crazy right now, man. Like, within this month alone, I've gained over 300 something. 300 something subscribers man so i'm telling you guys you don't want to miss this journey so make sure you subscribe man and yeah man it's your boy broadway i see you guys in my next video man peace